Greetings, programs, and welcome back out here to my kitchen, where I'm sure the audio is not as good as it should be, but the figures that I'm looking at today do not fit in the office for uh, recording purposes. Um, today we're actually looking at two figures, some of the coolest figures ever made, in my opinion. We're actually looking at the 2001 Robots in the Skies, Ultra Magnus, and Optimus Prime. So, as you can see, we've got a lot of robot here to cover. Um, I'm just going to explain now. If you see me looking off over here, um, that's my screen. I'm having to do this like on my full laptop setup. I can't do this on the camera because uh, weird file size limitations and stuff get in the way. But anyway, we're going to start with Magnus. Um, Magnus is easily the weaker of the two, and that's because Magnus really comes off as being, like, an accessory pack for Optimus, actually. But he does have some cool features of his own. Um, he's got ten rolling wheels all throughout him. Um, chrome hubcaps on all of them, which is really nice. Rubber tires as well. And, uh, funny enough, front tires say Transformers. These two say Cybertron, or, yep, Cybertron on those ones. And then these back ones actually have his Japanese name from Car Robots, um, God Magnus. So, uh, personally, yes, I do prefer calling these guys by their Japanese names of God Magnus and Fire Convoy. But, end of the day, technically, yeah, these are American releases as the, uh, extra unneeded Autobot insignias will show throughout both figures. Um, so yeah, wonderful chrome all up front, bright gold uh, Autobot insignia up there. Just a lot going on, really cool. Um, and he's one of the Magnus figures that does... Actually, he's not one of He's probably the Magnus figure that takes advantage of his uh, car carrier alt mode. Just the best of them all. Because if you had the Autobot Brothers from the same line, which, as I recall, was comprised of Expron, Prowl, and Sideburn. Um, Sideburn being the only one I own, and he is unfortunately put away right now. Um, all three of them could actually ride in the carrier mode after you pull up this back ramp. And... Even if you don't have them, you can actually take a lot of modern, deluxe-sized, you know, uh, car formers, and they actually will fit on here, you know, really well. So, that alone is really cool. Also worth mentioning for, you know, play features, because as us collectors tend to forget, these are toys at the end of the day. Um, you can even fold down the ramps back here. And uh, they're on a double hinge, so just keep that in mind when you're closing them back up. But, yeah, you can fold these ramps down, actually drive the cars up this ramp, get these pieces out of the way, raise it up, you know, lock it in place with those, drive the next car up underneath. You know, you basically got a fully playable um, car carrier out of this guy. And that alone is really cool because there's not a lot of good car carrier toys in my experience. Um, worth knowing also, this guy does come with a big, tremendous, ridiculous weapon. Um, it does have two firing missiles, which I've actually accidentally already fired off. I will get them back later for, uh, you know, to show them, but <clears throat> they do fire very, very easily, so... Going to leave them out for most of the video. Um, right now, what's worth knowing is that right there, there are two uh, peg holes. So you can either take this gun and you can peg it in. Let's see if I can get this uh, to go on. Up there. Or all the way back here. And uh, depending on the car formers that you're using with them, there is still space there for them to fit, which is a pretty neat addition, actually. But, 
just gonna get this thing out of the way. Um, this thing in and of it, this thing actually has its own like full transformation it can do, which is pretty neat. But for now, we're just gonna look at Magnus. Now, the one thing about Magnus is he is very much a parts former, even more so than uh, Optimus here. And for anyone who's not in the know, a parts former is a transformer that literally you have to take them apart in order to move them from one mode to another. So, say, G1 Starscream, who you basically just take apart and then stick them back together a little bit differently. So, um, he's fairly easy to do. Hopefully I'll remember these guys. I'm definitely better with uh, Optimus than I am this guy. Okay, due to uh, sheer complexity, I've actually decided to forego transforming these guys on screen. Um, especially this one. Like I was saying, he's a parts former. Um, his leg pieces are actually just completely separate and snap on right up there. Um, but the figure you get is pretty cool looking. Um, note, yes, he has hilariously long legs, as in that much of him is leg. <laughs> but, uh, yo, he, he's fairly cool looking. Um, his eyes are actually like, uh, chromed gold, which is a little hard to show. Again, I'll be throwing up pictures periodically. And um, kind of the downfall of him is his arms are attached by ball joints, and they're just too weak to hold up all the mass. Even you can see here, they're just slowly going down. Move it out a little more, it'll go down more. Um, you know, nothing that a little bit of floor polish or something, you know, won't fix. There are ways around it, thankfully. Um, I hear they're even starting to make a new product specifically for this kind of thing, like for action figures. Um, worth knowing, really cool actually, right up here is a little red button on his backpack. And this is not only his voice box, but it actually changes uh, the sounds that it makes as you go through all the different modes. So, in this mode, all you get is, which is also flashing a little red light here on his back. Um, I don't know why it bothers doing the light in this mode, if it's able to switch all the things it does, but uh, it does that. But, you know, really all you get in terms of posability, ball joint the head, so you get, you know, really good range there. Ball joint in the shoulder. Uh, there is also a shoulder joint that I forgot to move up on this one. So, you know, you get pretty good range of motion in the arms. Um, the hands are even articulated with a peg on his thumb so he can hold stuff. And uh, wrist swivel as well. So there's a lot you can do with him. But unfortunately, uh, his joints just aren't that great. He's even, you know sloping backwards a little bit because for all the things that do have ratchets throughout these two uh, sadly his legs are not part of them the outward boost outward motion motion um, that part of his legs does have very tight ratchets so tight that it makes me split him in half but uh you know overall he's this guy on his own is kind of cool but you only want to get him if you get Optimus. Speaking of which, here we have Fire Engine Optimus, or as his uh, big front tires will tell you, Fire Convoy. Um, again, nice chromed out uh, wheels, rubber tires, a lot of detail going on on this guy. Um, I think that just says fire engine or something in Japanese on the front there. I'm not sure. Also says Cybertron right down here. It's very hard to do this through a mirrored viewfinder. Um, even some extra details here on the back that won't focus. Hey, pictures, what are they for? Uh, <laughs> now, this guy has a lot more functions uh, that he does. And it's really why, again, 
Magnus, I'm going to skip some stuff on him, not going to bother going through the transformation. If your Google Foo, Google Foo is up to snuff, um, it's very easy to find the directions So these old Transformers. Uh, Imgo has a video on these two. Heck, he's got a three-part series on these two. <laughs> so, you know, you don't need me to go through this crap, but this thing is just super cool. So, first off, the uh, ladder is ratcheted up as well as a ratcheted rotation. Up here is a little uh, button on the end. You can flip that, and two little cannons will pop out. On the back is another button, and if you hit that, actually hit it all the way, um, there's four little missile launchers that pop up, and each missile launcher, if I can find the button, has its own uh, launcher. I'm going to hate myself having to look for all these things later. So, there's all that. Then, up on the front, he also has lights and sounds. Button is right here between his headlights. And he's got several different sounds he makes, but they're at random. So, hopefully I'll only have to hit the button a couple times to get all his sounds, but... Siren, which can go on a little too long sometimes, unfortunately. Uh, the incorrect use of Maximize going on. Um, this was right after the Beast era. And if I can get him to make his final sound here... Uh, he yells fire, and there's some gunshot sounds. So, um, again, just going to go ahead and skip off screen to transform this guy. Way too much going on. And there's actually a lot you can do with this guy. So, first we're going to get into the standard mode. And then here we have the base robot of Optimus Prime. Or rather, Fire Convoy, who I was holding too high. Um, so as you can see, uh, lots of chrome detail. His entire chest is chrome. Uh, his eyes are more of a uh, copper chrome detail going on. Um, really, really good range of motion on this guy, actually. Uh, there is a butterfly joint in the shoulder from transformation, so you get you know some backwards motion. Full rotation. Goes out uh, quite a bit of the way. Oh, in fact, all the way. You push it a little bit. Um, ratcheted elbow. The wrist is actually on a ball joint, though it's a little bit hard to get in there to uh, manipulate it. But there's that. He's got a little uh, blaster that he comes with that actually has a wheel on top. Um, this actually was hiding right up in the very front of the uh, cab mode, which is kind of impressive, actually. Um, ice can kick forward, you know, all the way. Ratchet a 90 degree knee. Ball joint at the ankle, so you get rotation, pivot, tilt, you know, the whole works. Um, if you bring his weird, you know, battery box out of the way, he does also have, you know, backwards leg motion. So, um, all in all, the base robot on this guy is extremely poseable and very, very cool, but not just that, the back half of the fire engine turns into this uh, defense base, which yes, you can just see the uh, the super mode head uh, hanging out right there, a little bit of a bummer there, but you, know, you get chrome there, some new guns are exposed, uh, the obvious hands can kind of you know, fake being guns. It's something to do with the armor parts. So I do give it credit, you know. It's nice that they actually do something instead of just, you know, put them in a box and wait for, you know, the appropriate transformation. But um, this next mode is where things get cool. 
And then basically after just ripping the little defense base into pieces and sticking it on the guy, um, you get his super mode, which is... I love this thing. Um, it's got all the posability of the uh, original base mode, except for the ankle stuff. The ankles are unfortunately locked in place now by the new larger feet. But um, there's still a ball joint on his new wrist, um, and you even have a little... Yeah, you have a little uh, thumb joint here that's tight, hard to get to, but he does have a thumb joint even if you want. Um, just such a great, really awesome, really big mode for Optimus, you know? Um, there's not, like, a ton to go over. Uh, armor gets in the way of a couple things, but for the most part, same posability. Um, he can do, like, this big, crazy super attack thing where you stick this, you know, out on his shoulder and, you know, arm the guns if you haven't already fired the missiles off into oblivion. And let's see if I can get him standing right. He does actually even have enough, like, ratchet strength to hold this type of pose, which is insane. I mean, th this is a lot of forward weight going on. He just stands there, takes it like it's nothing. But, obviously, the best part of this is that he can combine with Ultra Magnus into... I want to say they called it Omega Prime or something like that. But, uh, yeah, going to go ahead. Basically, all you're going to do, by the way, is just rip the armor off. So, you can leave the defense uh, base built while you have the Ultra... You know, Omega Prime whatever mode going on, which is really cool in and of itself. But just wait till you see this insanity. And then after you go through one of the more enjoyable uh, combination transformations I've dealt with, you are rewarded with this absolute just insanity of a figure. Um, now, worth mentioning, yeah. It's not super posable anymore. There's quite a bit in the arms. It still has all of the Optimus Prime arm articulation. And that's about it. Like, you've got a limited ball joint in the head. You can move the legs, but you really don't want to. Because um, there's, there's a lot of mass going on up here. He is very top-heavy. But thankfully, he's a top-heavy that still stands very well. Now... What's really cool about this guy is throughout the torso of Ultra Magnus, there's a whole bunch of little light blue buttons that you'll notice. So as you get him combined, some of those buttons get pressed down. And now when I go ahead and hit the button on him, uh, still the same little red button that was on the back of Magnus. Not only does he say that, but the... What was the little light on the top of Ultra Magnus now is actually directly underneath this head and without messing with the you know, its ball joint makes the face light up while he makes sounds. Now, on top of all that, you can take the weird uh, backpack gun thing. Like I said, a whole bunch of different ways you can use this. But uh, for now, I'm going to do the just most straightforward, which is just plug it into their back. Worth noting, round pegs on this side, square pegs on this side. So it will only go in one way. But once that's plugged in, that's going to push down on other buttons. So now when I come back here and hit this, if, assuming I have this in all the way, you get that. And, um, I think he's got a few others he makes as well. You know what? Just for simplicity's sake, we're going to do this by me pushing the button. Okay. And both. So there you go. Um, now there are also ways, if you are careful, to take this thing 
And uh, you can turn it into different guns for him to, like, actually hold. Um, those forms are kind of weird and fiddly. I've not had the best, you know, time getting him to actually hold these different gun modes. But, you know, for those who want to put in the time and effort, it is doable. Um, there are also just uh, more square and round pegs on the side here. So you can just, you know, plug it on his shoulder or something. Like, I'm, I'm going to do that. I. That's the fun thing about doing these videos. Sometimes you realize... Hey, that's something I could have been doing since I got this, but I haven't done it yet. So yeah, there you go. He's got a big old shoulder cannon, and he just looks incredible. You know, I, I'm happy to have this guy covering my face so you don't have to look at my ugly mug, but in all honesty, this is a very expensive uh, duo of figures to find. If you can only get one, get Optimus. Like, bar none, no questions. If you only can have one, get the Optimus. But if at all possible, get both. Because I cannot begin to express how genuinely awesome this is. You know, I know the point of the channel is I talk about Transformers and express how awesome they are. This thing is just too stinking cool. You know, it's big, it's got, you know, transformation and joints way better than something, you know, just shy of 20 years old deserves to have. Uh, rubber tires, lights and sounds that aren't intrusive. Uh, okay, maybe the big red um, backpack on Optimus could be seen as intrusive, but it, that's minor. I'm willing to live with it. This thing's just incredible. You know, if you... Collect Transformers at all. This is something very much worth, you know, seeking out and adding to your collection. So, hopefully this has been a uh, interesting video. I know the figure's great. I don't know if my execution was great. I know that uh, people probably would have preferred if I could actually show the transformation and stuff. If sometime in the future I'm able to change my setup, to actually accommodate transforming figures this large, I totally will make another video showing the transformations. But as it stands, I still wanted to get this guy in front of the camera and just gush about how freaking cool this is. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.